Hello, FCF. We're, we're still going through our uh, study in 1 Peter chapter 1, and I'm just going to pick right up where I left off in verse 22. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 22. It says, Now that you have, past tense, purified yourselves by obeying the truth, so that you have sincere love for your brothers, love one another deeply from the heart, for you've been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable through the living <coughs> and enduring Word of God. For all men are like grass, and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the Word of the Lord stands forever. Once again, we have a lot to unpack here, so let's go back to verse 22. Writing to those that have put their trust in Christ and become His followers, it says, Now that you have, past tense, purified yourselves by obeying the truth, it's talking about when they heard the message of God in Christ, when they saw the full revelation of God for who He really is in Christ, they put their trust in Him, and this caused them to have a different view of life, a different view of God, a different view of themselves, and more importantly, a different view of sin. It, it purified them. This act of reconnecting with Christ our Creator, putting trust in Him, it, it was a purifying act that then put us in position again to be obedient to God. Life doesn't work unless every being in the universe is obedient to God. God just asks us to live the way He lives and love the way He loves. But for us, this is a learning experience. Hence, it says we're purified by obeying the truth. It goes on to say this. It says, Therefore, since you've been purified by obeying the truth, have a sincere love for your brothers. Love one another deeply <clears throat> from the heart. Once I am free from the fear of death, and I'm not driven to uh, live as long as I can, you know, as a first drive and self-preservation and self-gratification as a second drive, get all the pleasure I can. Now I have space, I have capacity in my soul to authentically be willing to give instead of always looking to take. I, I can love for the first time my brothers from my heart. I I'm not fearful anymore. I, I have my core needs met by Christ, therefore I'm in a different state of being to learn how to love people differently. It goes on then to say the, the state of humanity, verse 23, it says, You've been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable through the living and enduring Word of God. So it was as we became uh, in proximity somehow, we heard or, or, or we were around the Word of God, we heard the truth about God as it's revealed in Christ, we then were reborn by that Word. When we welcome God's Word, God's truth about Himself in Christ into our minds, into our hearts, and we put trust in Christ and become His followers, we start a new life. I used to live my life as a follower of myself, my own thoughts, my own ideas, my own desires. Now, because Christ has won my trust, He has redeemed me once again by His sacrificial love displayed on the cross. He's drawn me, won me to Himself, freed me, from selfishness. Now I've been born again, but it's the Word of God. I'm not born by flesh and blood means. That's not what brings me into the, the kingdom of God. It's being born by the Word of God. The Word of God is God's thought. It's spirit. I am born of the spirit when I receive God's Word, God's truth about Himself into my spirit, and I become a new creature. There, there's a new Randy that starts to live when you put your trust or when I put my trust in Christ. It follows up in verse 24 by kind of stating, as I said earlier, just the condition of humanity. It says, For all men are like grass, and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flower falls, but the word of the Lord stands forever. Mind you, he said, we're born again, not by human seed, uh, which is frail and lives a very short life. It says, but by the word of God, which endures forever. This new life that I have as a result of trusting Christ based on His Word that I have received, it, it's the seed of a new birth, a new entity, and it's eternal. It endures. And that's all that verse is talking about. Whereas whatever we inherit from our ancestors, this was particularly important to the Jews because the Jews thought they were members of God's kingdom automatically just by virtue of being born with Jewish blood. And of course, that's nonsensical because God only wants those in His kingdom who want to be in His kingdom. And they just don't want to be in His kingdom. They want to do His will. That's why they want to be in His kingdom. They hunger. They thirst for righteousness. All right, let me shut it down for today. Thank you.